So I'm still out here in Hawaii on the big island. Had a really nice goat hunt uh, the other day out here, guided by uh, nah Nahele Outfitters. So that was a really successful goat hunt. If you guys want to check that out, I'm going to link that uh, video in the description below and probably in one of the uh, pop-up links on the top of the screen here as well. But today we're going on a different adventure. We are going to do some shore fishing. So this one is like, I don't know, I guess it's kind of like a semi-guided um, shore fishing trip. It's going to be a guide there. He's going to provide uh, the equipment and all that stuff. Um, and I think I'm going to be going out with, uh, with a random group as well. So it's like, kind of like a mix and match group. Um, so I think there's three or four total people being guided out there. I'm not exactly 100% sure how it works. Took a look at their website. It uh, seemed like it was kind of cool. I think we're just gonna set up on the shore by the beach somewhere. Throw some bait out there in the ocean and see what uh, what bites. I'm not sure. I remember what type of species we can catch out there. I know we can catch some trevally. I think he said some tuna as well. Some sort of tuna. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, anyways, whatever. Anything is. Uh, good for me as long as we get on some fish hopefully we get some action today headed out there right now to the harbor to meet up with this guy and uh, keep you guys posted and I'll see you guys hopefully on the water when we're getting on some fish look at this terrain out here guys it is just Absolutely gorgeous. There's the ocean right there. Man, rolling hills. That's the uh, Maokia vol volcano back there, I think, or I think it might be that one. I think it's the one back there. It's breathtaking scenery out here on Big Island in Hawaii. All right, we are pulling up to the harbor now, Kauai Hai Harbor. Gonna be fishing. Okay, yeah, so yeah, whipping yeah. is casting, fishing more actively, cast and retrieve artificial lures, things of that nature. Um, dunking is, you know, casting out bait on a bottom rig and letting it sit until fish comes and finds it. Okay. So the one thing with the dunking rig, on here we have braid backing. The braid's really strong for its diameter and a lot of line. But it doesn't stretch at all, and it's also not very abrasion resistant. So, being that the Big Island's the youngest island, it has a lot of fresh lava rock and live coral, which is very sharp. So, if you have uh, a fish on, or you just pass in a bad spot and want to bring it back, you know, use a just straight braid would. Uh, likely cut you off especially on a fish because the braid isn't stretching at all so that line is on a rock it's moving every inch that the fish is moving and it's just covered so it cuts through eventually so our, our standard whipping rig that we use here is uh it's a modified carolina rig okay so it's a carolina rig but it's a lot different than you're used to seeing got one. Oh, she's got one Nice. <laughs> we got well, that is a papillo. That's a immature bluefin trevally. Oh, okay. okay. So as nice. they get older, this blue right here comes the whole way down to just below their lateral line. Yeah. It looks like a neon blue sign out there swimming around. Nice. And a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. And they will. Nice. That's a sergeant fish. Black oh, okay. Sergeant fish. Black yeah. Tongue. That's the one that's like a crappie. Uh, no. No. I mean it is, but it's, there's other ones too that are yeah. get significantly larger than this. All right. We got bait on there. So we got egg sinker. Yeah. A plastic bead. That's more to protect the knot mm -hmm. on the barrel swivel. And usually on a regular Carolina rig, you'd have two or three beads, and they're usually glass. Yep. So that it's bouncing around, making noise. Well, here in Hawaii, we can't touch the bottom in a lot of places, mm -hmm. or you're just getting snagged. 
And usually, so when I'm whipping this, I'm not whipping it from the bottom. Yep. Okay. So usually a Carolina rig, you know, you have your plastic like six inches to two foot from the from the weight. Yeah. Here we have it like nine to twelve foot from the weight. Yeah. Because the weight is just to be able to cast it far and to keep it under the water. Yeah. So it's a constant cast and retrieve. So you see how much longer our lead yeah, is compared yeah. to your normal Carolina rig. Yeah. This is also kind of uniquely Hawaiian. This is called a zip strip. Yeah. It is just a strip of plastic. I have thousands of plastics in that tackle bag. This stupid little thing outfishes all really? the fancy stuff. Um, we'll try different colors. Um, you know, the one thing is like, you know, you find a pattern. So it's like, am I moderate pace retrieve? Am I twitching it once, twice? Yeah. Is, so just, you know, am I speeding it through? The one thing with Trevally is they like things moving fast. Okay. So you can crank that. All right, well, I'm going to go over there by the concrete. All right, we'll try fishing off of the concrete here. Try close to uh, those pillars there. Cast it over by that pillar there. We got some wind coming over this way. We gotta kind of cast at an angle. Get over at the pillar there, and we just start retrieving. He said Trevally, like faster speed retrieval. So we've tried some pretty quick retrieves like this. I don't know. If maybe it needs to be faster. Or maybe I should try to slow it down. So maybe we'll try to slow it down a little bit here and see if that doesn't work. I think I got something. I think I'm on something. Yeah, I got something. Oh, what is this? Look at that. What is this? There we go. Look at that. Look at this guy right there. What a beauty. What kind of fish is this? I have no idea what kind of fish this is. I'm gonna have to look it up later. But, we got on a fish. That's awesome. Yeah, I just got, I don't know what kind of fish it was, man. Just a long one. <laughs> long, skinny. Yeah, probably coordinate fish. This guy? Yeah. Yeah. There's a blue spot coordinate fish in Hawaii that's called Nanu Nanu. Nanu Nanu, okay. It's more community. Nice. That's cool. Oh. Got on another one. Got on one. Got one. What do we got here? What do we got here? Another. Another one of these guys. Well, got another one of these guys. Forgot what he called them again. All right, off you go, bud. Two of these guys now. There he goes. All right, well that was fish number two. Caught two of those guys. I forgot what, uh, what name he called that fish, but cool little fish. Long, skinny, looks like a sword. Should be called the swordfish, but that's something else. But uh, yeah, so I got two of those guys now. Awesome, at least we're getting on some fish today. I could switch up to a float rig, head over over there to the corals and probably get a lot of action. Um, that mother and her son over there seems to be getting a lot of little panfish panfish action over by the corals over there on a float rig but uh, I want to see if I can try to get ourselves on a something we can keep bring back home put up on the grill here so I'm gonna stick to this for a little bit longer and then maybe later on I'll go after the uh, smaller fish by the corals but uh, yeah they seem to like the white colored bait there or white fleshy colored uh, lure so we're gonna stick to that and we're gonna keep on trying to see what else we can get. Oh, I think I'm on something. I'm on something small. 
Hey, look at that. Hey, what a beautiful fish. So that last little fish there, that was uh, a variant of what they call a sergeant fish. Beautiful colors on them. And two big fish hooked within a couple minutes. There we go, finally got all one. This one looks like a good decent size. Come on. Yeah, oh. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Do we Is got? that a trevally? It's a papillo. Oh, nice. Papillo. Beauty. All right. Mm. Oh, the heck, but that don't matter. There we go. <laughs> we are it's a bigger fish. Yeah. There we go. That's an eater size right there. Andre, nice. come here. Andre, you measure Andre positive. come here. Oh, it has to be 14, right? Uh -huh. I gotta measure. Okay. Are you measuring? That's 10. Uh, nose to fork is 13. We're good. We're good. Deeper. Edible? Yeah, that's edible. Nice. Alright. Yay. All right. Yay. 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 What, who's gonna eat it? You yeah. Yes, he's gonna eat it. Yeah. Yeah. You got two fish to eat now? Yeah. Okay. yeah, thanks for the other Where's fish, the guys. Other <laughs> All right, we finally got a what is it called? A papillo? It's a papillo. Papillo. Bluefin Trevally. Got my Trevally 13 inches. That is a keeper size. It has to be 10 inches to keep, 16 inches to sell. So that'll make a good pan fry for tonight or tomorrow. Awesome. Can I help you lift it? No, it's not. There we go. All right, now it's time to cook up blacktail snapper and a bluefin trevally. So this is a omilu, I think they call it, for this size. Um, all the bluefin trevally are called papio, but then they have different Hawaiian names for, for uh, different sizes of the fish. And under 10 pounds, I think they call omilu, so this is an omilu. Alright, so all I've done to these fish is just put a little bit of salt on them. I made three cuts on them right there. All we're going to do is just throw them up in the grill and then barbecue these fish and see how they taste. And I want to taste as fresh of the fish as possible like no seasoning or anything like that just salt because i want to see exactly what the fish meat actually tastes like as much as possible barbecue is heating up wait for it to get to about 400, 400 degrees there 350 400 and then we'll pop right in the grill what? no we wanted to get to 400 from 300. mr brian here has got the stogies yeah ready the stogies stogies in a barbecue i don't know what stogies in <laughs> <laughs> Stogies are cigars. When you turn 19, we'll give you one. How's that sound? <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, you might change your mind when you're 19. All right, get these guys on the grill. Boom. Right there. All right, we got Mr. Brian here, the taste tester. You ready to try out some uh, bluefin trevally, some yeah, papio? Yeah, buddy. I'm ready for it. Omilu papio. It looks beautiful. Ira, you ready? Mm -hmm. Try out some uh, Omilu Papio. Yeah. That's the bluefin trevally. Yeah. I'm excited. Snapper too. <laughs> Snapper, yeah. You don't have any real chance for it unless you're doing a second. Ooh. Oh, man. That's Look looking oil. good. That looks pretty good, man. That looks pretty freaking good, man. Look at that nice white. Don't thing need right nothing. There. All you need is just salt and the grill. Yeah, man. I bet it'd be even better on a charcoal grill. Oh yeah. Uh, fish is almost ready. Can't wait to try it out. Look at that. That looks good. That looks like chicken nuggets. It looks like chicken nuggets. Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> looks like crispy chicken nuggets. I don't know what. I don't know what kind of chicken nuggets you've been eating. <laughs> Dig in, bud. The mouth is so creepy. Of course it is. The snapper. Mm hmm. I want to try too. I'm so excited. 
How's that stopper? Oh, that's good. I'm okay, dig in, baby. It's perfect just with the salt. You got a piece that's of the skin on the trevally there, on the papio. That's delectable, man. That's cool. Oh, that's good. Nice crispy skin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me that's get a piece of this. Good. The skin? Yeah. Eat the skin? So the skin's edible, even the fin? Mmm. This the fin's edible? Not the fin. Don't okay. eat the fin. Just eat this. Eat that like papio the is skin. good. Oh yeah, let me try the, uh, snapper here. Mmm, that's good. You have me pick up some skin. Oh yeah. I like them both. I like the uh papio though. Okay, the trevally. That is delicious. They're delectable. All you need a little bit of salt and then just grill it up. That's, that's it. Don't need anything oh, else. You might make what? a bit of a dipping sauce for it later inside, but uh, yeah, that's yeah. delectable. Yes. Awesome. They've got my goal of catching a bluefin trevally out on this trip and got the pleasure of cooking it up on the grill. Absolutely delicious fish. Have absolutely enjoyed our time out here on Big Island in Hawaii. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, comment, let me know what you thought. And uh, stay tuned for other videos coming up in the future. Like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.